What is going on everybody? My name is Hypnik, and I hope your day is just going fantabulous. Today I'm actually going to be telling you guys a little, a little teeny little story that kind of happened to me today, and it's very stupid, and all the people who are involved, well, the person who was involved besides me was very stupid, and it was just all around an idiotic moment, and a really, 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 really stupid stupid occurrence oh man so today i was driving home from work nothing really intense was happening it was there was kind of heavy traffic i was taking the freeway called i-215 i don't know if you guys know what that is because you probably don't live in utah but yeah i was taking i-215 home and it was pretty slammed there was there was quite a few cars on the road and there was quite a bit of construction going on on the way home like there's there's been construction on that road for a while and it's just it kind of makes the traffic a little bit heavier and Wow, that guy's good. There are a lot of cars on the road during rush hour, and combine that with freaking construction and traffic delays. Oh, man. It, it is a hellhole sometimes. But yeah, I was just driving home, okay? Everything was okay. Everything was normal. Everyone was being smart. Everyone was being a courteous driver, letting people in when they need to get in and letting people out when they need to get out, when they need to get off the freeway or when they're getting on the freeway. That's how you should drive. People were driving like that for some apparent reason in Salt Lake City. I I don't know why. So yeah, I eventually just got off the freeway. I was right by the exit that I needed to be by, so I got off the freeway. So, uh, let's continue this story where we left off. So I got off the freeway, and I was heading up this road to go home to get on to another highway to get home. So, it was slammed, and it was fucking jam-packed like a motherfucking jelly sandwich. Suck my balls, boy! But yeah, it was just, it was slammed and there was a lot of people, so I didn't know what to do and I was just driving. You know, that's just what you do. You drive when you're driving. Wow, dude. My, my shot on BO3 is getting a little bit better each and every day. It's not amazing, but it's getting there. It's getting better. I can't like to full on quick scope like that, but like I can snipe a little bit. But yeah. So yeah, I was merging over into the left lane because I did not want to like, you know, turn right. I wanted to turn left. But I had to go up this road a long way before I had to turn left. So I just basically was saving myself from turning right, which is something I didn't want to do. So yeah, I I, start, I got I got over into this left lane so I didn't have to turn right. And there was there was a lot of space in front of me for some reason. So you know, I was like, hey, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up in that little space area right there. See if I can't get further down the road and you know not be behind a bunch of cars that are gonna jump in really fast. And that was kind of my mistake. In, in this situation because I mean I am I'm not saying I'm at fault because I know I'm not at fault because this lady oh my god this lady is a dumbass but yeah so I get over into this left lane and I start speeding up to go up into the void of cars because I wanted to be up in there I didn't want to be cut off by a bunch of other cars I mean of course if there were other cars in front of me or like to the side of me that needed to get over I would let them in and be a good Samaritan. I always try to drive not like a douchebag because that doesn't get you anything. So I go up into the void and there are no cars. There's no cars. I'm all clear and I'm going. And then this lady in a black Escalade just decides to just turn. Just get into the lane that I'm in. And I am clearly not in her blind spot. I don't know if you guys know what a blind spot is. If you drive or not. I mean, if you haven't taken driver's ed and you've never drove a car. And you've never heard your parents talk about a blind spot. Then... You probably don't know what it is. It's it's literally like this little spot that you cannot see the car behind you in your mirror. It's just pretty much your blind spot, like your rear view mirror, like your side mirrors. You just can't see this certain spot. And if there's a car in that spot, you cannot see them. I don't know what it is. It's just the angle of the mirror versus where you're sitting. And it just it causes some hell sometimes. And it, it actually caused a little bit of hell today. But this chick did not even check her blind spot. And the easiest way to check your blind spot is you look over your shoulder. Like you just literally look over your shoulder for like two seconds. And if there's a car that you can see, then you don't get over it and you don't cut them off. But yeah, she just didn't check her blind spot. But the funny thing is, and the stupid thing is, is she didn't need to. Because I was clearly not even in her blind spot. I was right next to her. And she started to get over into the lane that I was in. And uh, she hit me. She sideswiped me. She freaking hit my truck. She hit my truck and she gave it a big old dent on the side. I mean, it's not a huge dent. My, my truck's already dented. It's kind of old and beat up. Seriously, she freaking hit my truck when she did not even check her blind spot. But I was not even in her blind spot, which is a stupid thing. So 
I don't know how she hit me. She just wasn't paying attention. I think she was on the phone. After she hit me, she pulled into this parking lot and she like put her phone down. So I think she was on her phone or she was texting or something like that when she was merging lanes. And that is not a smart thing to do, obviously, because it causes you to hit other people. So this chick hit me and we pulled into this little parking lot after, after she threw all of her hands up, all two of her hands. We pull over into this parking lot and this chick is being like a complete idiot. She gets out of her car. So I, I just, I look at this lady and I'm like, uh, are you okay? She's all, do you have the number? I was like, number for what? <laughs> and the stupidest thing, the stupidest thing that she could ever say, she says, the number for 911. And I just, I look at her and I am like, what? What did you just say? Do you realize what you just said? Do you realize? So yeah, this lady was like debating whether or not to call the police and I was just like, I don't want you to call the police because at the current time right now, my truck doesn't have any registration. Like it's not registered. It's been unregistered for like a month and a half and I really need to get that done. So I was sketched out. I was like, holy shit, she's gonna call the police. Like this is not good. I'm gonna get a big old fat ticket because I'm not insured and I'm gonna get my friggin' insurance and it's just gonna go up and I don't want my insurance rates to go up. Seriously, like I was just, I was scared. Okay, and I was freaking out because it's the first wreck I've ever been in and this chick was a complete dumbass And she had the serious most like like intense case of the Mondays Anyone could ever have like it was it was ridiculous. Do you have the number for 911? Yeah, you just fucking said it lady like are you legitimately? Retarded Seriously, the message that I have for you guys today is just always check your blind spot and always make sure that people are not in your way when you're trying to merge traffic or you're trying to go somewhere or you're trying to change lanes or you're trying to get onto a freeway or get onto a different road or when you're trying to turn. Just don't be a dipshit. And uh, the number for 911 is 911. Like, that's it. The number for the police is 911 in the US. It is, I'm, I don't, like, how... How? 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 I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button. Because my name is Hypnic, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please smash that like. And if you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, baby. Because this, this channel, this family is amazing. And uh, being a part of it is the greatest gift you can ever receive. So yeah, guys. And it's free. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't like free shit? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next video. My name's Hypnic. This is guys!